Okay, welcome to a short video looking at some of the advantages and disadvantages of a currency appreciation. An appreciation, of course, is an increase in the external value of a currency. For example, the pound might appreciate against the dollar or the yen or the euro. You can get more yen and dollars for a pound. That would be an appreciation of the currency. So what are the main advantages to a country if the currency appreciates? Well, first of all, uh, the imported raw materials, component parts and other inputs, including capital technology, that becomes cheaper when priced in your domestic currency. And if that's the case, the currency appreciation can cause an outward shift of short run aggregate supply and can increase the profits of domestic firms that use inputs as a, as a key part of the production process. Second advantage is that a, a, an appreciation of the currency can help improve living standards. It allows consumers, hard-pressed households, to buy cheaper imports of goods and services. Classic example, their foreign holiday becomes cheaper, or the imported gas and electricity becomes a little cheaper, uh, bringing down the utility bills. A currency appreciation can also be a useful safety valve for a country which is in the middle of a boom and there are some inflationary pressures, both cost push and demand pull. So a currency appreciation effectively is like a tightening of monetary policy. Uh, let's say the exchange rate rises by 10%. That's equivalent in the UK to maybe 1.5% increase in interest rates. It's a monetary contraction and that can keep inflationary pressures and expectations under control. Stronger currency could also help to reduce the size of a large trade surplus if a country is running an excessive trade surplus and perhaps help to ward off some protectionist threats. And another interesting aspect is if the currency goes up in value, if there's an appreciation, overseas assets, including overseas businesses, uh, become cheaper to acquire. So that might encourage UK firms, for example, to look overseas, to make some acquisitions, uh, to build up external assets, which then generate interest profits and dividends if those investments generate a return. So those are some of the key advantages of a currency appreciation. Don't forget in the exam to make good use of aggregate demand and aggregate supply analysis. So you can you can show, for example, an appreciation, perhaps making exports more expensive, perhaps shifting aggregate demand to the left or the right hand side. I've done the same, but actually said that actually imports are also cheaper. So you get an increase in aggregate supply. Don't be afraid to use ADAS to make a point. What about disadvantages? What about downsides to a strong currency? Well, the obvious point, I guess, is that exports of goods and services become more expensive when priced in a foreign currency. And this, of course, can then lead to a, a contraction in demand for exports. If export sales worsen, perhaps that leads to a worsening trade balance. Strong currency could also make life difficult for particular sectors. Uh, industries, for example, that rely on large numbers of tourism, uh, overseas visitors, so hotels, uh, tourism, theme parks, etc., and transport sectors, the profits from for that can go down because there are fewer overseas visitors. Uh, more generally, if the currency becomes overvalued, let's say the, the currency rises 10, 15, 20% or more, that can sometimes cause structural decline in an industry. Uh, we call this the Dutch disease effect, where an increase in the world price of a major export, whatever it is, palm oil or whatever it is, avocado or iron ore, drives up a country's exchange rate and can cause the manufacturing sectors of a country to, to really struggle and suffer. The Australian dollar has been particularly strong in recent years, and that's uh, one of the factors behind the the basic end of the Australian car making sector. There's also a risk that a rise in the currency and appreciation of the currency can lead to deflation. So if your country is growing but inflation is less than 1%, a currency appreciation could have deflationary effects. And you should know, of course, that deflation can be very damaging to macroeconomic performance. Some evaluation points. Here are four impact depends on points, just by way of illustration. So the impact of a stronger currency depends on the openness of a country. There is a country with a high trade to GDP ratio, in which case the effects would be quite big, or is a country relatively closed economy, doesn't import much, doesn't really export much, 
in which case uh, currency appreciation has little bearing. The impact depends on the scale of, of a currency, so that should be a currency change. So is it a 5% change, is it a 20% change, obviously that depends on that. The impact depends on the price elasticity of demand for both exports and imports. You know, are consumers going to make big changes to their demand if the relative price changes? And crucially, the impact of a currency appreciation depends on how businesses respond to the currency change. An exporter faced with higher prices in overseas markets may choose actually to keep their prices the same because they fear losing some market share. Instead, they may absorb that and just take a lower profit margin and wait for the currency to fall. There we go. Some key points, some advantages and disadvantages of a currency appreciation. Thank you.